so I have gone to uh, ift.com, I-F-T-T-T.com. I have logged on. So if you haven't already created an account, you'll need to do that. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to create your own recipe. Uh, you can also browse others, which might be a good place for you to start. But I'm going to create a recipe. So if this, so this is where you're going to be able to choose your trigger channel. Uh, and you can see there's lots of options in here. Uh, Evernote, Etsy, uh, your email, Dropbox, all kinds of different choices. Uh, 98 different channels you can choose from. For today, I'm going to choose Twitter. So if this, uh, and actually what I create is I favorite tweets all the time. And then I want to be able to go back and uh, have some kind of order or create a database where I can uh, organize those and be able to uh, share them out and find them uh, later on down the road. So every time I favorite a tweet for my Twitter account, and now I'm going to create the trigger. So I'm going to tell, so if a new tweet by me at JTCox4, then that. I want to tell it that new tweet to go to my Google Drive. Uh, I want to add a row to a spreadsheet. So this is going to put it inside of Google Sheets for me. Uh, you can name your spreadsheet. Uh, mine's just new favorite tweet. It's going to tell you what your columns are going to be. Um, and then create that action. And then what that's going to do for you, if I go to my drive, I have an IF TTT and IFT folder. It's named Twitter. And then I have a spreadsheet of all my favorite tweets. So every time I favorite a tweet, it's going to tell me uh, when I favorited it, uh, who uh, posted it. This will take me to the actual link or the website. Uh, and then this will actually show me the tweet, which is sometimes helpful. Kind of helps remind me why I, I uh, favorited that tweet. But then it's going to drop it. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. It's going to drop it into the end of my spreadsheet. So all these are my latest favorited tweets. Um, and then I go in and organize them and, and name them uh, what I want. And then I just click on this column. I sort the sheet A to Z, and it drops it in there for me alphabetically. So it's been a really uh, powerful resource, uh, kind of streamlines my workflow. Uh, and then I'm able to share these and go back and find them later. So hopefully you will find this recipe on IFT as helpful as I have.